If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. Oh dear. Should I brace myself for some fashion advice? But I suppose you have earned better than glibness from me. It was a gift from my husband, Khalid. He was a harper. A better one than me, truth be told. Any idiot can swing a sword, but to believe in the cause with the whole of your heart, a much trickier thing. He died, alone, in pain, and far too young. Murdered by a mage who craved immortality. I'll not grant it by naming him in the same breath as my husband. The quiet, unassuming shadow to Jahira's strength, Khalid was another warrior who helped end the Baalspawn crisis. Shortly after, he was murdered by the mad mage John Iranicus. Nothing that wasn't already there. Fear not. But I've lived many lifetimes since Khalid died. You, um... Twine your life around the people you love. And when they are gone, you grow around their absence instead. It is just another way they shape you. Which is my sage way of saying, I am in no danger of forgetting how my husband died. But I choose to remember how he lived. <laughs> I've never known a warrior to go so far out of his way to avoid a fight, which meant the few he chose. <laughs> Most harpers swagger and flash their feathers to catch your attention. Khalid was quiet to a fault. And when we were married, on an upturned cart in the rainy Daylands. <laughs> he stammered so much. I've never been sure if our vows actually counted. Oh, I'm sure time and an aging mind has smoothed out a few of his flaws. But he was a good man. The songs make much of Khalid's meekness. The quiet little harper who had to keep a tight hold on his courage, but he had it when it counted. And more than that, he had compassion. When you live a harper's life, see all that a harper sees, that is by far the harder thing to hold on to. But a bard can tell you all the rest. As for all the things they cannot, well, I shall just have to keep those for myself. <laughs>